Hello and welcome to another FS19 mod review. So this time we're looking at Black Sheep Modding's Lizard's Spino Bale Grabs. And these look a decent mod. Something I've been waiting to come into 19. I used to use the one at the Straw Harvest Pack quite a lot in 17. Would have been nice to see uh, some hose connections there, but as we know the loaders haven't all got dynamic hoses on either. So this is the smallest one. Just a little two bale one. And as we can see we've got it in class colours here. Everything is nice and clear on there. It's actually sitting on the tractor as it should do. So there's two bale ones available for the tractor loader, telehandlers and wheel loaders or loading shovels. Down here we have got the big one on the telehandler. So we'll have a look at this one. It's a fairly big grab there. Again, all looks in place and sits on the telehandler as it should do. So we will try the one on the tractor first. as it should. I've got this on the joystick but as you can see it's all nicely animated there nothing moves out of place as it does so all moves in the correct positions and that one performs with left shift left control K and M for those I've got on the top thumb switch on my joystick instead. So let's uh, pick a couple of bales up. I have put wheel weights on this tractor as a precaution. It's not really the ideal direction to pick them up from. So move this one first. Put down on top. And grab the bale. Just pop that down there. Release. So you should be able to pick two up crossways quite easily. It's always a bit where you cut the strings in real life if you're not careful. Those two, no problem there. So we'll get them lined up there. We have got the wheel loader one as well, but that's over on another field. Put them down there. So everything works as it should do with this one. So really nicely detailed mod there. As you can see. So we'll try the three bell one now. I presume it's three, it might actually take four. Let's have a look at that. Obviously we're using it with these quadrants to start with. The, lo the wheel loader has um, got some other bales to play with, shall we say. So we've got this one in the matching colours for the loader here. So the three quadrants here. Wish to look, try and pick four up one of these somehow. There's certain loads you push your luck to pick three up in real life. So we've got three on there. Let's see just how 
good it is. Give it a good bounce test. Gonna try this in real life. So it does hold on to him really well. Good way of testing it. It's not gonna chuck him off there. So he's working well. Claws do actually hold them really well there. Let's pop these down next to another one. We'll just see if we can pick four up. Might be being greedy, but uh, gotta try these things. There, if we just move across slowly, so that middle bar is there. Can we get four? Yes, we can. So, how well does it hold four? Is the question. Off. So the answer is really well. That takes us to the wheel loader. So we've got the big W as it's called on this one. Which again sits reasonably well on there. But we're not with quadrants this time. We shouldn't be. It looks like the bowels may have reverted to them. This was a field of Hestons on here. But I've uninstalled that particular bowler now. So let's have a look. them okay. The bales have actually uh, disappeared off the field by the looks of it. So we'll have to try it on some other ones. So it picked them up quite nice. They're left by the Bowler we tried the other day with Heston, so there is a quadrant version of it as well. We do have a field of uh, Hestons over here. We'll make sure we can actually lift them with it as well. Bowler's everywhere on here at the moment, need clearing up. Where we've tested various pieces of equipment, including, unfortunately, a lot of the little tiny ones. So we've got some proper pistons over here. I think you might struggle to do this in real life, but we'll uh, see what happens. One. Interesting. There's two. Let you go in with these, otherwise the hooks grab them too soon. So we used to line them up when they used to stack them. You know, sort of half Heston valves. You can grab three of the Hestons on here as well, which uh, 
do hold on just as tight. No issues with them. Never seen a great deal of trouble with this, to be fair. So really nice to see these back and see how well they hold the bales. Let's take a look in the shop at these now. So we've got some under front loader. So we've got the Spinal F here. So £4,500. Looks like it has got hose connections, it's just the um, machines we're using have not, which is unfortunate, or well, doesn't seem to. And colours. We've got the full range of colours in there. If we come out of loaders and go into wheel loaders, we've got the Spino W, exactly the same. Hose hanging down there. Ah, same price, and we've got the big W. Same colour options, as you can see. So. £7,500 for that one. Telehandler, we've got the Spino T, which is going exactly the same, it's just the brackets which are changing. And the Spino Big T, so £7,500 for that one. Haven't checked to see if there's any in this category, which there isn't. I'd have been surprised if there was, put it that way. See, there's no hose connections between the shovel and that. No hose connections between the Manitou. And not that we can see between that loader, which is useful. So it's more down to the tractors, I'd say, than anything else. But that's where we're going to leave this mod review, so for now I'll say thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you again in the next one. Goodbye for now.